today marking five years since Arizona Senator John McCain died from glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer. The former Arizona senator is buried at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. While he's remembered for his years of service in the military, the Senate, and even his run for president, his son Andy showing our Caribe divine another part of his father's legacy, the fight to find the cure for brain cancer. Well, one thing about Dad that was undeniable, he was kind of a force of nature. Um, he was a true warrior. The former congressman, Vietnam POW, and five-term U.S. senator was a formidable figure even in the face of uncertainty. Known as the Maverick for his public leadership, his son remembers him for the more private memories they shared. I'm sure as the, the time passes, you miss different things about him. Um, lately, what would you say you've been missing about him? In particular, I was the one um, uh, child that really loved sports, and uh, I would often go to games with him because uh, I was a recruit to take him, uh, drive him over and drive him back. Uh, but he knew I also enjoyed it. And to see the Suns playing so well or to see the Diamondbacks playing so well, we would have had a lot of fun memories talking about that. Their time together cherished as his father served in Congress from 1982 on, first as a U.S. congressman, then a U.S. senator, still serving in the Senate while battling brain cancer. No one will ever forget when he was in the Senate chamber as he had the bandage above his eye. And so, you know, people were talking. What is that like as uh, his son and as a family member to have to go through that so publicly? To be honest, uh, when he did what he did and even flying to Washington uh, for that critical vote, there was some concern that that could cause undue pressure on his brain. He didn't care, he knew what he needed to do. Uh, he always put this country first. At 81, Senator McCain died at his ranch near Sedona, just one day after announcing he had decided to discontinue medical treatment. It was then that Andy, the second oldest son from McCain's first marriage, decided to get involved in the fight against cancer himself, becoming a board of trustee member at the Barrow Neurological Institute, where a new medical trial is just beginning. It's inspiring uh, and it's really life changing. I mean, I think this is kind of ground zero for being uh, the focal point for speeding up uh, the race to cure brain cancer. I'm very excited. Um, uh, my passion is to develop clinical trials that actually move the needle in my lifetime, if that can happen. Dr. Yoshi Umamura, Chief of Neuro-Oncology at Barrow and Chief Medical Officer at the Ivy Brain Tumor Center, explained this trial is taking a new approach at targeting tumors. So in this study, um, the drug is directly injected to an artery that feeds into the tumor specifically. Allowing the patient to bypass the side effects of traditional medication. So we want to make sure that by doing this, you can deliver a drug safely into the target at a certain amount that stays there. Right now, 12 patients are enrolled in the trial. The next step is to test the effectiveness of different drugs. For Andy McCain, the work at the Ivy Brain Tumor Center gives him hope what would you say to the family of a person who gets a, a diagnosis of glioblastoma? To never give up hope, but to understand it's a very tough disease. And you, you will see um, some change uh, in your family member that's, that's suffering through, uh, but always reassure them that you still love them as much as you always have. And uh, let's continue to hope and pray that, that we get to that cure sooner versus later. Indeed, let's hope we do. That was Team 12's Caribe Divine reporting. Andy says that the McCain family was planning to honor the late senator on his fifth anniversary of his passing in a private gathering surrounded by family and friends, telling stories, maybe shedding some tears, but certainly a lot of laughs as well, just the way he says his dad would have wanted it.